So, I've done a lot of long haul riding in the past years. And one thing that's always plagued me is what riders know as monkey butt. Uh, some of us are, I guess, susceptible to it. Some of us aren't. But I think eventually, if you spend enough days on the road, you're going to run into that problem. And basically, I think it's caused by just the chafing, caused by the uh, vibration of the seat, and lack of uh, air, flow, heat, uh, sweat, and all those things put together. Doesn't matter the bike, this is a Harley Road King. Uh, it happens to all of us whether you're on a go wing which I did a lot of riding on uh, it just doesn't matter they all going to present the same problem to you eventually but I've found a solution after a lot of trial and error and a lot of uh, sore butts let's put it and I've got some friends who uh, one in particular who uh, adopted this same method with me and I guarantee you it will work. So it starts out, I call it a three prong approach. It starts out with some powder. Now you can buy this stuff, anti-monkey butt powder uh, with calamine that's what we used I'm not so sure baby powder would not work just as well to tell you the truth but you know it's cheap you can buy it just about anywhere on the internet so I think that goes on first second don't use cotton underwear I know it sounds good but uh, and I've always worn cotton underwear but for this sort of thing it does not it's not the best thing you need some sort of a wicking type underwear that's going to pull the moisture away from your body and uh, I've got a, a pair here uh, it's just some I don't know where it came from Walmart somewhere but uh, that's what I use. It's just a kind of a sports type underwear and uh, that helps really well. Kind of makes you feel like you're wearing a pair of panties <laughs> but uh, you get past that and it's uh, it works good. But the the most significant thing of all that really makes the difference is the old taxi cab driver seat. I bought that for five dollars at Pep Boys and I cut it in half and gave my buddy a half of it and I kept the other half. Carved that out of it you can see uh, what it looks like. But if you do nothing do this. Now you can you can order these things online that are made for the seat or not made for the seat they're square like this but they're black a little more aesthetical uh, appearance than this but this thing right here has probably got uh, 15 20 thousand miles sitting on it and I've ridden as much as a thousand miles in a day on it 800 miles another time but typically four to five, six hundred miles a day. And at the end of three week trips, still no monkey butt. Before I started using these things, three days out I was miserable. And as you probably know, once, once it starts, you're not going to cure it while you're riding it's just not going to happen you're not you're not there's no fix for it once you get get it started so that prevention is everything on these on these long haul trips running around 50 100 miles 
riding the back roads, don't worry about any of this stuff. But if you're going to get serious about long haul riding, you've got to address this subject. So that's my tips there. They work. This is the big thing right here because it lets air flow between the seat and your butt. And then with the underwear, you've got the uh, anything that does sweat. You've got uh, you've got that covered because it's going to pull that moisture away from your skin because these things are hugging tight on your on your skin. It's going to pull it up. Air running up underneath here is going to evaporate it off before it can sit there and linger and uh, build up a, a rash. And the powder, you know, it's going to it's going to absorb sweat too. So it's uh. I don't think it's overkill. I think it's just right. Uh, you can't you you can't take enough precautions if you're gonna be riding five six hundred miles a day, thousands of miles on a trip. And if you know, it seems like women don't have that problem. I guess men have a lot of hair on their butt. I don't know. I don't know what causes it, but it's there. And anybody who's ridden a long ways, most people they'll encounter this and so this is my tips on how to get rid of it and I know it'll help you so give it a try and see what you think